In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the Kbase narrative interface to build a metabolic model. If this video is your first introduction to Kbase, please consider watching the tutorial videos on how to create a Kbase account and how to access and use the Kbase narrative interface. Links to these videos, along with other videos mentioned in this tutorial, are available in the description below. Additional documentation can be found at kbase.us. First, you'll need to locate the Build Metabolic Model app and add it to your narrative. To locate the app, navigate to the Apps panel in the bottom left of the screen and search for Build Metabolic Model. Alternatively, you can search for the app in Kbase's App Catalog. The App Catalog slide-out can be opened and closed by clicking the arrow on the top right. Once you locate the app in the catalog, you can look at its detailed description by clicking on the information icon. This action will open the Build Metabolic Model app page in a new browser tab. This page provides detailed information on the methodologies employed by the Model Reconstruction Pipeline, description of all app parameters, and all related publications. We can close this tab and add the app to our narrative simply by clicking on it. The first step to build a metabolic model in Kbase is to select the genome we want to build a metabolic model for. Genomes can be added into a narrative from a local computer, via an FTP server, or from Kbase's reference database. Details on how to add data into a narrative are available in the tutorial videos Data in Kbase. For this example, we're going to use a genome from Kbase's example data. To do this, navigate to the data panel at the top left of the screen and click Add Data. The data panel will slide out and we can navigate to the Example Data tab. Here we select a genome named Escherichia coli annotated with RAST. We choose the RAST annotated genome not by chance but because all genomes must be re-annotated with RAST prior to metabolic model reconstruction in Kbase. This includes imported genomes as well genomes from Kbase's public reference database. This step is necessary because only the functional annotation ontology generated by RAST annotation pipeline is linked directly to reactions in Kbase's biochemistry database. Please refer to the tutorial video of the annotate microbial genome with RAST for more details. Once our simple genome is in the narrative, we can start the model reconstruction by selecting it as input in the Build Metabolic Model app. In addition to Select Genome, other parameters are available in this app. The next parameter, Media, allows to select the media condition to gap fill our model. Draft metabolic models usually have missing reactions due to incomplete or incorrect functional genome annotations. As a result, these models are unable to generate biomass on a media where the organism typically is capable of growing. Gap filling algorithms can be used to overcome this problem. If we leave the media field blank, complete media will be used by default. Complete media is an abstraction of what's available in our biochemistry database. Every compound that can be transported into the extracellular compartment or in other words, for which a transport reaction is available in the model, can be used in complete media. This video is focused on building a metabolic model. For that purpose, we will leave the media field blank and then check the box for the parameter gap fill model. Please refer to the tutorial video of the gap fill metabolic model app for more details. Kbase models are generated based on a default template model. Template models capture the necessary biochemical information based on user-defined scope. Kbase uses four templates, gram-negative micro, 
gram-positive microbe, core pathways microbe, and plant. These template models differ from each other by biomass composition and by biochemical reaction functional associations. The default option, automatic, attempts to classify the genome to choose the template accordingly. When selecting a genome for model reconstruction, please keep in mind that the KBase Build Metabolic Model app works primarily for prokaryotes and plants. The last remaining step is to name the model and hit Run. Now that the model reconstruction has finished, we can inspect the resulting model. The Overview tab provides a summary of model statistics including the number of reactions, compounds, compartments, and gap fills included in a model. We can further explore the model by clicking on the other available tabs, such as Reactions, Compounds, and Genes. Metabolic models can be used for multiple analysis. KBase has implemented commonly used tools and methodologies to expand and analyze metabolic models such as gap filling and flux balance analysis. Once we are done with our analysis, we can download our model. To download a model, please navigate to the model object in the data panel and click on the ellipsis symbol. Clicking on the download icon will reveal all the formats available for download including the standard SPML format. Thanks for watching and please consider checking out the other tutorials mentioned in the video description below. Stay tuned for more tutorial videos on metabolic modeling in KBase.